Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy you're all here. And in today's video, I have a wantable spring preview style edit to share with you. So if that sounds good, stay tuned and we will get right into it. All right, I am going to put the time that the try-on starts right here. So for those of you that want to jump right over to the try-on, feel free to do that. For everyone else, this is my bundle. So Wantable recently had a special where they would send you a spring preview style edit for a $5 styling fee. So I decided to go ahead and order one and give it a try. And of course, below in the description box, I will have all the details about Wantable if you're not familiar. So why don't we go ahead and we'll get into this bundle and see what they sent me. All right, the first thing we have is a black tape white tank top. And this has a really nice feel to it. It, um, it kind of has like a silky feel. I love white tanks for layering under different pieces. I don't tend to wear them just on their own, but I think they are great for layering and this one feels fabulous. So I'm excited to try that. The next thing we have, oh cool. This is an Aerosmith graphic tee. That is really cute, and I have to say, I do like Aerosmith, so this could be a possible keeper. All right, what do we have here? The next thing we have is a Z Supply. It's kind of like a cream-colored, gauzy top, and it looks like it's gonna be off the shoulders. Um, sometimes I don't mind wearing those, but you have to wear a strapless bra, which is so uncomfortable, but I don't know. I. I I think I might have requested this one off of the stream, but I think I thought that you could wear it just up on the shoulder. So we'll have to see how this one works out. The next thing we have is this little Vigos sleeveless top. Oh, this is cute. And it's got a tie at the bottom and it's the blue and white stripes. That is really cute. I'm excited to try that. We have a pair of shorts. See, these are democracy and I, it's kind of I think they're a navy blue color they are it looks like kind of the the cargo style pockets but they're not very long and they do have it looks like a little bit of an unfinished hem here those are cute we will have to see how those fit all right we've got a white pair of jeans all right these are driftwood jeans and it looks like they are a boot cut. Looks like a good weight with the denim. Very cute. I was searching for a pair of white denim jeans, but I think I have found a pair that I really like for Maurice's. So we'll have to see how these compare. And the last item, what do we have here? Oh, wow. This is a pretty pink blazer. Love the color. It kind of looks from holding it up like it's the boyfriend style. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, I'm really excited to try that. Okay, so, so far this box looks pretty promising, so I'm gonna go ahead and try on the first outfit. I will be right back. Okay, I am back with the first couple of pieces on, and I apologize for the glaringly white legs. I have not started my self-tanner routine yet, so they are a little pasty and white, and I apologize for that. But let's start first with this really cute graphic tee, the Aerosmith graphic tee. It, it feels nice and light, and one detail I do like is that on the sleeve, they've kind of tacked up like it looks like it's turned up, but there is a stitch here to keep it that way. So it's just the crew neck. It's got the, the Aerosmith. I don't know which... Um, what album this one is. I'd have to look up her tour, Las Vegas. But I do like the coloring. I like Aerosmith. I think it's a really cute shirt. So here is the, the length of the t-shirt all the way out. But obviously I'd probably wear it most likely half tucked. But it's a really cute t-shirt. I think this is probably gonna depend on price, but I really do like this. I think these are just kind of fun to wear. 
I think they're cute just with like, you know, cut off shorts in the summer or jeans. But then I think if this look is also cute with like a blazer when you have like a graphic tee under it. So I kind of like that look too. So I do like this top. It's just going to come down to price and what else I like from the box because I have a feeling I might have uh, the complete opposite issue of what I had the last Wantable box where I think I'm going to like a lot of things and it might be hard to decide to keep within my budget, but I do like this top. All right, now we're going to go on to these Democracy shorts. They are a high rise. They are fitting up well over my belly button. And they do have the pockets in the front and then they've also got these little like cargo style pockets right here. It does have the unfinished hem, but you can see a seam right above that so it's not like they're going to keep unraveling. I'm not minding the length of these shorts either. This tends to be about the length of shorts I like. They're really comfortable. I think what's going to come down with these is how they look on the footage when I look back to see how they look on because I do think they are a cute pair of shorts. All right, let me go ahead and change into the next couple of pieces. Okay, I still have the Democracy shorts on because I thought this top would work better with these shorts than the white jeans. And I apologize because I did not put a strapless bra on. I wanted to see how it would look like this because I would probably wear it up on the shoulders a lot more than I would off the shoulders. But this is definitely designed to go off the shoulders if you like that look. It's 100% rayon, but you can see it's kind of got that like gauzy look. It's got the three quarter sleeves and it's not elastic at the bottom of these sleeves. So it does have the little tie detail here with the little keyhole. And right now I've got it with the front tuck in, but I'll show you the length. This is what the length of the top is. I actually did request this on the stream. And the thing is, is that I don't know if the color is, is perfect for me or not. I, there's a fine line with creams and ivories where they can look okay or they can wash me out. And I'm wondering if this is one of the ones that could wash me out. So I'll have to look back at the footage. Um, it is a cute top. I just don't know if it's a love for me. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next couple of pieces. Okay, friends, I have the next three pieces and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with the white jeans first. And you can see that they are long enough, so that makes me feel good. I feel like Wantable is listening to my inseam request, so they are definitely long enough. And you can see that they are the boot cut. They are a mid-rise, and I don't mind the fit too much, but what I'm really disliking about these jeans, I will try to zoom in here to show you the pockets. If you can see, they have They've kept the fabric white for the pockets and you can clearly see the outline of the pockets on these jeans. And that is one detail that I don't like. Old Navy actually uses nude fabric for their pockets and their white jeans and they completely you know, disappear then and you don't see the outline of that pocket. I wish they had done that with these because I do think they're a pretty good fit on me. I will say though that the thigh area, it's pretty, it's pretty tight and I think they will probably show lumps and bumps. I'll have to look on the footage to see. And I'm going to be keeping this blazer on because with this white tank top, I feel almost naked taking the, the blazer off. I never wear white tanks just on their own. I always wear them like as a layering piece. So I'm going to be keeping the blazer on. So I'll lift it up here a little bit to show you the back view. All right, now we will go on to the white tank top. And like I said, I'm not going to be taking the blazer off because I would never wear this tank top just on its own. Any white tank top in general, unless it's like a loose fit, I never wear it on its own. It's always just a layering piece for me. And that would be definitely be the case with this one. It's a very clingy, very soft fabric. I do like the scoop neck. It is just the regular tank style. And I think it is pretty under blazers. I like the way that this neckline looks under blazers. 
It will pretty much depend on price with this one. For those of you who've watched my channel for a while, you know that I just can't stomach spending a lot of money on a tank top. I just don't see the value in it. So we will have to see how much this one costs to okay. see if it's a contender. But it is, it is a very nice white tank top. All right, now we're gonna go on to the pink Liverpool blazer. And I absolutely love this color pink. I mean, this to me just makes me happy when I see this color. It is the boyfriend style, so it's supposed to be relaxed and kind of an oversized look. And the, the sleeves already came rolled up, and you can roll them down, but I think that is the look, is to have the sleeves rolled up. There are no buttons on this blazer, and it does have the two pockets. They have the little, um, you know, stitches right now that you could take those out and be able to actually put your hands in the pockets. But right now they have the little stitches, but they have the the pockets with the flaps over. Here is the length in the back. Um, when I looked at it in the mirror upstairs, if you get like kind of a side view, it just kind of like, I know it's not supposed to be fitted, but I feel like it really does kind of swing out in the back and I'm not sure I'm loving that look on me. I wish that this color was in a more fitted blazer and I would be snatching it up. I just love the color. The fabric feels amazing. It's a really nice stretchy fabric, but it's the fit on me that I'm going to have to take a look on the footage to see if I like the way that it looks on. Because right now I'm thinking I love the color. I love the way this fabric feels, but I think it's the fit that's going to be the issue. Let me know what you think of the blazer. Do you like these like boyfriend oversized style? What's your opinion on these? Okay friends, I've got the last top on to show you and this is a cute one. I really like this. So this is a sleeveless with the collar and I like the detail of the little tie at the waist. I'll get a little bit closer. Hopefully you can see the blue and white stripe. Really nice feeling fabric too. It's not tight up underneath my underarms because I don't like when tanks kind of cut up there. So it feels nice, but I don't think you can see the bra through the armholes, which is a good thing. I do like the, the detail that it looks like a button down shirt with the collar and it does have the buttons here. And then this is what the little tie detail looks like untied. But I think it's a cute fit and I love the way it looks with white denim. I think it's a really adorable top. And I think this one is probably going to be staying with me. I think this would be really cute through the summertime. Let me know what you think. Do you like this little blue and white striped top? I think this one is really cute. All right, I think that was a really good box. And now I've had a chance to look at the prices because I try to keep that till the end just so it doesn't sway me one way or the other. This one is definitely going to be a keeper. This is the Viga sleeveless shirt. This is $49. It is a lot for a sleeveless top, but it has a really nice feel to the fabric. It does feel like it's very good quality, so I think it will probably last a long time, and I just loved it. So this is definitely going to be a keeper. I was also kind of debating about the Democracy shorts. These were actually very comfortable. And how much are these? The High Rise Utility Short size or for $68. Um, I don't know. I'm going to give this some thought to see what I think about the shorts, but these are definitely a contender. And then also I liked the Aerosmith graphic tee and this is $49. So kind of a lot for a t-shirt. So I don't know. This is, I'm going to have to give the Aero shirt I'm going to have to give the Aerosmith shirt some thought to see if this might be a keeper. Now the tank top was a very nice tank top, but I told you I'd ha it would depend come down to price. Oh my gosh, this is $49. That is out of my price range for tank tops. Even though it is really nice, it's got a great feel, I just, it's so hard for me to pay that amount of money for a tank top. I don't know. I, there's... You've heard me say this before. Sometimes I think there's value in buying something that's a little bit 
higher price because the quality is there and I think it's a good value. I just have trouble with tank tops. I, I just struggle with that. So $49, I do not want to spend that on a tank top. So this one definitely no. Now this one, I don't know, what did you think of the coloring of this on me? I tried it on again upstairs and I do think it's kind of cute not wearing it off the shoulders. It's kind of like that boho look, but I guess it's really going to depend on the coloring. I don't know. I'm going to have to give this one some more thought. And this was um, Z Supply $64. I don't know, I'm gonna have to think about that one. Now, going back over the footage of this Liverpool blazer, I love this color. If this had been more of a fitted style, I would have scooped it up immediately. I feel like this fabric feels amazing. It's It's got like stretch in this fabric, but I did not like the way the back looked on me. It just kind of looked like it was just, you know, floating out so much. I know it's supposed to be that oversized look, but I just didn't love the fit of this on me. I just didn't think it was that flattering. So although I love the color, this is definitely going back. And these white jeans, I just, it bothers me a lot with that pocket detail. And how much are these? Oh, and how much was the Liverpool blazer, even though I'm not getting it? 119, I was assuming it was gonna be around there being Liverpool. And these jeans, the Wyatt High Rise, 108. Now, that's what bothers me. Spending $108 for a great pair of white jeans, I don't think is crazy, but why not use the nude fabric with the pockets so you can't see them in the outline. It just seems like for $108, they would pay attention to that detail. So the white jeans, I'm gonna be saying no on. Those are gonna be going back. So I'll have to mull over those couple of the graphic tee and the shorts, and I'm definitely keeping that Vigas sleeveless top. But I do think that this was a good Wannable box, and I want to thank you so much for joining me. I always appreciate that you take time out of your busy days to spend with me, and I hope you know how much I appreciate it. I'll see you all next time. Bye.